I think one of the things that used to bother me the most in life were people on the road. You ever had somebody yell at you or flick you off? People judge you by the car you drive. I don't understand why society does this, but they judge you by the car you drive and the job you have. I noticed when I got my new car, People started treating me a lot differently on the road. One day I'm driving down the street, I'm in Orlando, this is like right before I moved to LA. I look up in my rear view mirror, I see this truck flying up on me. To my right, I can't really do anything because there's another car like matching my speed. I'm in the fast lane, so I try to speed up to get out of the truck's way. This truck was too impatient, just cut over. We both pass the middle car and we pull up to a red light. As we pull up to the light, the truck turns and gets in the lane right next to me. And then all of a sudden I hear, hey! So I look over and I see this guy sitting there with no shirt on. And I'm like, what's up? For somebody who has such a nice car, you drive way too slow. This truck is full of dudes with no shirts on. And then I notice my boy Christian is sitting in the middle back seat. Okay, Christian and his friends want to clown me. I get it. I look forward and I realize the entire road in both directions is completely empty. Look back over at the guy and I'm like, tell you what, I drive slow. How about I race you to the next light? He's like, okay, buddy, uh, okay. So all the guys in the truck are getting all worked up. Now I'm like, hey, if you ain't scared, let's race for pinks. Okay, buddy, let's go. Let's go, buddy, let's go. For those that don't know, racing for pinks means the loser of this race has to give up their car to the winner. And he starts revving his engine, and I can hear that this dude has something going on. And I instantly start regretting this decision. If I lose this race, I know Christian's not gonna let me live it down anytime soon. But what these guys don't know is when I bought this car, I bought it sports package, turbo, everything. There's even a little switch that you can flip from economy mode to sports mode. Low key, I flipped that freaking switch. Junk is about to get rowed. As soon as our light turns from red to green, boom, my car jumped out the line and like into a pop -a wheelie. I felt like I was in Fast and Furious 12. All you hear from my car is, I beat this guy to the light by like eight car lengths. So I pull up to the next light and it's red, so I stop and then he pulls up next to me. I'm like, bro, um, how do you wanna do this? Should I get your number so we can exchange? He turns and like books down the side road. Following a bunch of topless guys in a truck down some side road, Probably not a good idea. So I get home and like around 10 o'clock that night I was thinking to myself, you know what, let me hit up Christian and like play this through. Take out my phone and I call him, I'm like, hey yo, what's up with your boy? And Christian's like, who? Your boy that was driving the truck. What truck? The guy that I raced, you were in the back seat. None of this sounds familiar. That wasn't me, like I woke up this morning, I went to class and I came straight home. So basically, Somebody in Orlando owes me a truck. And I also want to say two things real quick. I've had some friends with nice cars who race, and it only takes one time. He was racing somebody, crashed, and lost two of his fingers. You can hurt yourself or the people around you from racing. If you guys take away anything from this story, I also want you to keep that in mind. However, comma, if any of you guys in the Orlando area see a white truck driving around full of dudes with no shirts on, let them know I haven't forgot.